Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, another episode. Um, don't really have a whole lot to show you, but it's been a week, so I'm gonna show you what I've been up to. Um, what I've mostly been up to is this bugger right here. Sanding this thing has been a real uh, pain in the arse, um, obviously because of all the complex curves and little nooks and crannies. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, coat this today. So uh, stay tuned for that. So the next thing we're doing is we're actually going to, um, I'm gonna redo the interior. Um, basically what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with traditional uh, Aventador uh, interior. So that means that the uh, ECU screen will have to actually hide somewhere and have it pop up. I think it'll be kind of cool. Uh, what I did was I actually bought a, um, a module for an Aventador. So you can see that in the picture here. And in order to uh, get that all nice and tidy and in, we may have to move the shifter back a little bit, but that's not such a big deal because I just tack everything in. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Um, I got, instead of the 3D printed uh, vents, I've got some standard Aventador vents. And what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, kind of a standard uh, uh, dash build with some melamine and foam and uh, leather. So uh, stay tuned for, for that little uh, update when we get to that point. Um, again, we've been finishing all the panels off. We're going to start moving to the more simpler ones, which are the uh, flatter ones, which really go fast. Um, the big uh, engine cover. We're also going to uh, redo a little bit of this roof. I still like it. It's a little different than the Aventador, but I still like the fact that I get a lot more light um, and vision through the rear window. So we're gonna keep that. Um, this actually is not at a steep enough angle. You can see in the dust here, I've kind of drawn the steeper angle. Um, it just doesn't look right when the car is together and it's been bugging me for quite a long time. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that off and uh, refashion a piece that uh, may not weld to the roof. So we'll just have a roof that is kind of uh, typical uh, together without this uh, overhang here. We'll fix that, we'll cut this off, we'll make a new piece for it. And the other thing is, is that I've, I actually went and I picked up uh, some of these uh, engine scoops, which are uh, real Lamborghini um, they go here the uh, these were only a hundred bucks so yeah got to pick the pick a pair of those buggers up right um, so we're gonna do the same thing to this side the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna start working on the rear diffuser um, I don't like the way it's turning out uh, as far as being able to show off the carbon fiber and frankly when it's on the car, you can't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down nice and smooth. I'm gonna body fill it. I'm gonna shoot it with some uh, black paint and then uh, clear coat it. So um, I am gonna do something about these tip surrounds. I saw a really nice tip surround that I like. Um, so we'll be fabbing that up uh, as well. And here we are downstairs where the wing is getting its uh, final coat on the front edge so I can shape that nicely. Uh, then uh, we'll be able to finish sand this and hit it with some clear. And we move on. And then, as I said, I went ahead and uh, picked up some of these. Uh, these are the actual vents that go in a ventador. <laughs> Yeah, that was bad. Um, anyway, uh, we'll design the uh, uh, dash around uh, these guys here. So, um, and one might ask, how much did these 
buggers cost? Well, actually they were less than $200. So um, they're nice. They look almost brand new, no scratches. So we'll have a really decent looking uh, interior, I think. And here's our rear end. So obviously not perfect, but remember that's not what we're going for here. We're just going for a nice look uh, when we originally get the car together. So this will take a lot more body work and uh, uh, finishing uh, that we'll do uh, later on down the line. But uh, yeah, won't look bad from about 50 feet. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, we're uh, making good progress, but unfortunately a lot of it is sanding. <laughs> so uh, yeah, keep your eye on that interior that's going to be coming. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And thanks again. See you next time.